What's going on everybody? It's Kyle here from Tatum's Exotic Reptiles. Uh, so today we're actually going to do a video. It's a uh, start to finish between um, a female laying. We didn't get the opportunity to cut the eggs because they started hatching before. So we just let them crawl out, let them shed, and then we're doing an update video. So we're going to mash it all up. So this clutch was actually a collaboration between us and Randy at Pope County Pythons. Um, he let us use a male uh, for our Axis Lace project. Um, huge shout out to him. Thank you for letting us use that. Um, but yeah, it turned out really, really nice. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy it and uh, check out these awesome animals. our uh, butter axis gravel so it looks similar to like a butter highway um, but whenever she was born we actually got her from Lone Star Reptiles and when she first hatched out she was a lot more purple but she is just a beautiful snake and calm as can be so let's see how many eggs we get from her come on Go ahead and check and make sure she is empty. Yeah, she's a good girl. All right, so we're gonna sit her right here. We're gonna take these out. We're gonna set them to the side for right now. All right, I'm gonna put her up. You can focus on the eggs if you want to. And we'll get her cleaned up, get her new bedding, and all of that. I don't know where my Sharpie is. We're going to do it with a pen. Um, it, check the next drawer. That's not in here. I took it out. Oh. So one. Let's see. So we got five eggs. As long as I can see a little bit. Alright, so we got five good eggs. We're going to get these put up in the incubator. And then we'll be back whenever they get ready to hatch. And, uh, yeah... We're, uh, we're really excited to see what happens with the, uh, the axis and lace. So, we'll see y'all whenever we start cutting the eggs. Alright, so we are back talking about our um, axis lace project. Uh, so, we ended up losing one egg about two weeks into incubation. And we got busy with a whole bunch of other stuff. We didn't even get a chance to cut the eggs 
by the time I came and checked on them, they ended up hatching early and they were already all out before we even got to cut them. So went ahead and let them shed out and we're just going to show them off. Um, so we were hoping that with putting the lace and axis together, we were going to get a lot more highlighting up on the sides. Um, and I guess y'all just have to wait and see what happens. So first we're going to show off. Let's see. All right. So first one we have here. So everything in this clutch was either axis or gravel because uh, they are allelic. We know that axis is on the same allele as yellow belly, gravel, all that. So this one is a butter gravel. Uh, we're not sure if it has lace in it just yet. Uh, butter is one of those that's really hard to see lace in. But it's a good looking animal. Real clean. Alright, and the next one we have... So this one is a pastel butter axis. Again, we don't know if it has lace in it or not. We're gonna have to grow them up and just kind of see what happens. You can see it's got a lot of really good highlighting up on the sides. It's a nice little ringer that goes all the way around right there. Next one. So this one is an axis lace. Watching you go to. You can see it really, really laced up the sides here. Yeah, turn it down a little bit. There you go. Get this side over here. You can really see it better on this side. Really good looking animal. And one thing that we found with the axis is it causes kind of ladder patterning of orange that comes across the belly. He's just now starting to get it in. I don't know if the camera will pick up on it or not. It is a little bit. But this is the axis lace. And then last but certainly not least, we have the pastel axis lace. And this one did exactly what we were hoping that it was gonna do. You see it really pulled, pulled that, that lacing all the way up the sides. Now she's really starting to get a lot more orange. It's kind of hard to tell on the belly, but you can kind of see it on the sides. But I have a feeling that this girl is going to get brighter and brighter over the next couple of sheds. Hopefully it really starts to pull that orange in. So there you have the pastel axis lace. You have the axis lace. Pastel butter axis and then, and then the butter gravel. All in all, the clutch turned out really, really good. Um, like I said, it was it did everything that we were hoping that it was gonna do. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for what's going to come of the Axis Lace project.
All right. So thank you all for staying tuned. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can see all of our upcoming videos. Um, hopefully we'll have some more clutches here pretty soon. We've kind of had a slow season. Uh, so we're just kind of dialing it back, just kind of focusing on projects really. So, um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. We'll see y'all in the next one.